guys, Dan here, and I'm here today to teach you guys how to customize your Mad Cats Tournament Edition fight stick. First, you're going to need your Mad Cats Tournament Edition fight stick. Also, you're going to need your own personal customized artwork and plexiglass if you choose to use it, or make sure your art is Lama labeled. You're also going to need custom colored buttons to match your artwork, or if you don't want to, you can stick with the original buttons. And if you want to, you can also get a custom colored ball top to match your art as well. And you can also get a dust washer, which you can also use to add to your stick as well. The tools you need are very simple. You need a 3mm Allen wrench that looks something like this, it's about this size. Or, if you happen to buy the stick directly from MadCats.com, they might have sent you this little keychain. And inside the keychain, there is already an Allen wrench exactly the right size. You'll also need a flathead screwdriver, something like this. And if you want to, you could also get a smaller screwdriver just for more precise movement and wire moving around and all that stuff. And as an optional piece, if you plan on painting anything, you will want a can of spray paint. This is a blue one I'm going to be using to paint the PS3 one that I already have done. So, what you're going to want to do is take your Allen wrench and go ahead and unscrew the six screws on the front cover of the Tournament Edition flight stick. It's very simple, just slowly take them out like this. Uh, you might want to find a place to put them so you don't lose them. Uh, maybe if you have an extra slot here, it's a good place to put them. You'll never lose them that way. <clears throat> so, after you remove the six screws, the next step is you want to remove the joystick ball top. So what you need to do is you need to open it up here. As you can see, these are all the pieces. And you need to take your flat head screwdriver. And if you can see it here, there's a little wedge right here where the joystick is. What you want to do is you want to stick your flat head right in between. And then using your other hand, you want to unscrew the ball top. There you go, all tops all gone. Then we'll move on to the next step. So, after you've removed the ball top, you want to go ahead and take off the shaft and the dust washer here. And when you open it up again, take a look at the different color coded wires here for each of the buttons. This is because when it goes to the circuit here, each button represents a button on the controller. So what you want to do is you want to write down and remember each of the color to the corresponding button. Because what you're going to be doing is you're going to be unhooking each of these wires and hooking up a different color button to it. So the next step, before we do anything else, what you're going to want to do is get this gunky yellow stuff. You want to get this off of the pin connector here to the joystick so we can remove the panel to make switching the buttons a lot easier. So you can take anything, you can take the take a, like a small butter knife or even the screwdriver here and just carefully just remove the gunk. What this gunk is here for is kind of like the warranty thing. And it basically it it's what uh, tells Mad Cats that you've been tampering with the sticks. So just keep in mind if you do remove this stuff, they will know that you modified your stick, and they probably will not give you a fresh new one if you have a warranty. It's just like sticky glue. So, as you can see, I'm not even going to remove the full thing. I'm just going to slowly pull out the pin connector. Very slowly. And there we go. So the panel is now removed. And now we can go ahead and get to work on this baby first. So, once you have your everything off, you can take the faceplate here. And you can go ahead and attempt to take off the buttons. The reason I say attempt is because they're ridiculously hard to get off the first time. Um, just because the way the manufacturer designed it, you know, it was designed to stay in, so it's very hard to get these out. But what you want to do 
You can see here there's these two tabs, one here and one here, and then that's the same for each of the buttons. What you want to do is just simply push those in and then try and remove the button. The best way I've found to do is just kind of loosen it, maybe shake it up a little if you can, because there's also these little nubs here that kind of prevent you from taking them out easy. So it'll take you a while, but uh, just work hard at it. So the next step is you're going to want to take off this, unfortunately, very nice artwork. This one looks a lot better than the round one. It's actually just a big fatty sticker, almost. Which is basically what the Lama label is. So, if you want to keep it, you can always keep it, and just, just in case you want to swap it back. So as you can see, it's basically held together by lines of tape. Almost got it off here. And there we go. So, very simple, artwork is gone. So, the next step, once you get your artwork off, is you want to go ahead and take off all the leftover tape here. So, once you've finished taking out all the, off all the tape and everything else, you can go ahead and stick your plexi or you just your artwork if you did Lama label. Put it on like this. And after that, the next step is you want to go ahead and stick on your buttons. So right now I got these purplish, pinkish buttons. And just very, very carefully stick it in. And be careful when you force it in because you can crack the plexi very easily. So you gotta be very careful. Okay. Almost in. There we go. There we go. And that's the first button. Right here. There we go. So you just put in the other ones. 